It is the dawn of what could be a new era in spaceflight. SpaceX has successfully launched its Polaris Dawn mission. The multi-day mission could prove historic in more ways than one. Copy, one alpha. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Data on propulsion is nominal. This mission could see the first ever spacewalk by an all-civilian crew if everything goes according to plan. CBC senior science reporter Nicole Martellaro is tracking this story with us. She's in studio. So let's talk more about mission milestones and what's happening in the days ahead. So right now, um, they are in orbit, and it's um, they've already started their decompression for uh, the spacewalk. Um, and this is a very special spacewalk. But um, this uh, mission is funded by Jared Isaacman, a billionaire, and uh, has three other crew members. We've got um, uh, Kid Poteet, uh, Anna Menon, and uh, Sarah Gillis. Now, it's but even though it's funded by a billionaire, it's not all fun and games. Uh, they are going to be conducting experiments, and they've been trained very well for this for the past two and a half years. Um, and we uh, hear this from actually crew member and medical officer uh, Anna Menon. It was incredible training some of the most memorable training we've done. For the centrifuge training, the purpose is to go through both a, a launch and a re-entry as well as a launch escape mission profile in this human centrifuge that's spinning you around and, and imparting forces on your body that are similar to the ones that we will experience when we go through those, those operations actually in space. So another interesting thing is that they are going to be um, increasing their altitude. So they'll be orbiting at around 1,400 kilometers. To keep that, put that in perspective, that uh, the space station, the space station orbits at 400 kilometers. So what this is going to do is it's going to take the astronauts in and out of the Van Allen belt that uh, protects them, and, uh, and and they'll be doing experiments on that and how their effects on their bodies, along with many others. Let's talk about the big thing. <laughs> the first civilian spacewalk. How risky is this? Well, you know, all spacewalks are risky. Uh, you know, this is, you know, we're used to seeing spacewalks with, you know, the astronauts at the International Space Station with those big, you know, packs on their back, that's their life support. But this is going to go back more of a throwback to Alexei uh, Leonov. And that first, that was the very first spacewalk ever conducted. Uh, and, and also, but it actually mimics closer to the first American spacewalk by Ed White. And in this, this is just wild to me, but what happens is they depressurize, they don't have an airlock like the International Space Station, they depressurize the entire capsule. So the two astronauts uh, who will be sitting in place will be exposed to the vacuum of space. And then the two astronauts, that'll be Jared Isaacman and Sarah Gillis, will be uh, with a tether out, hanging out there for it'll only be about 15 to 20 minutes, but it's a crazy endeavor. It is something that is, you know, I love space. I don't know if I'd be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just remarkable. CBC senior science reporter Nicole Mortellaro, thank you so much.